know, I, I called in because I just saw an article of newsflash in the Washington Post where Brennan admitted that the CIA had been spying on the senator, uh, the Senate's computers. Oh, yeah, and first they denied that. I have the article right here. CIA admits improperly hacking Senate computers to control the Senate Intelligence Committee that's supposed to control them. And that's what all these people need to get, like Dianne Feinstein and others, is they'll never escape the tyranny they've helped build. I mean, who would want to build something this dangerous and evil? I mean, it's beyond nuclear weapons. Because, yeah, why do you make nuclear weapons? Well, because the Russians might get them. Okay, well, then why do you build giant NSA systems? Oh, to keep us safe. But it, it's not. It's for political control. And, 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 and then people then convince themselves of any reason to keep going along with the system. We may remember it was about a month ago that the German government told the CIA chief to get out of Germany. Well, it's not just the German government, it's our own government that's angry with the CIA, specifically the Senate. They were looking at reports about CIA torture, rendition, and they got spied on by the CIA. Staffers were tapped into. Now, they took then-director Brennan before the Senate committee, and he said to them, he said, uh, as far as the allegations, you know, CIA hacking into, you know, Senate computers, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. I mean... We wouldn't do that. I mean, it's just beyond the, you know, the scope and reason in terms of what we would do, he said. Well, you know what? He came back today and he said, actually, we were doing that. And he actually apologized, which is good. He apologized to the Senate for essentially doing a J. Edgar Hoover on him. This is something that the intelligence community has been notorious for for the longest amount of time. But it's interesting that he did finally admit it in this war going back and forth between Senate leaders. What he did not apologize for was the rendition, the de detention, and the torture and assassination, which was the subject of the investigation. Now, they're going to lay hard on that. And if you remember, CIA Director John Brennan was one of Obama's point men on the drone assassinations. That's one of the reasons he was picked as CIA chief.